get cooking, cooking, cooking with coffee. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Just chopping up some apples. I can't believe. Thanksgiving is already next week. Wow, my husband Bob was talking to me yesterday. He goes, Thanksgiving's next week, right? And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. So time to start putting your menu together and I can help you out. First of all, I'm a big believer in you don't have to do it all, you know? Uh, you can pick up the mashed potatoes, you can pick up the cranberry fluff and the pumpkin pie. But I do like to make um, a few certain dishes. And then also every year I like to change things up and do, you know, there's some things that if I don't make them, I'm gonna get in big trouble because they're family favorites. But, you know, sometimes it's a nice to add an additional stuffing to the stuffing that everybody always loves. So he, this one is a winner. Everybody loves stuffing. Um, so you can make, you know, grandma's stuffing and maybe make this one too. It's got apples and cranberries and the best part about it, super duper easy. And stuffing just isn't a Thanksgiving thing too. You know, this great, goes great with uh, chicken breasts, Cornish game hens, pork chops. I started out and I've got two cups of fresh apple cider that I'm heating up and one cup of chicken stock into a big skillet. I just want to bring that to a boil. A few tablespoons of butter. It is the holidays, but of course you could certainly cut back on that. But I'm with Rachel. I love, love, love stuffing. Now, to make this really quick and easy, and actually my kids really prefer this, the box stuffing. So basically I have two six ounce boxes of chicken flavored stuffing. It's already done for you, it's already seasoned up. And I'm gonna add that to my chicken stock and my apple juice, and it's just gonna be really, really good. It's gonna take this box stuffing to a whole another level. Also, I'm gonna to toast up some pecans. Now, if your family doesn't do nuts, you can completely leave that out of this recipe and it's still gonna taste delicious, but they do add a really nice crunch. I've got two apples that I'm gonna throw in with this stuffing. And I just go ahead and leave the skin on because I think it looks really pretty. And then I've got some dried cranberries. And I love dried cranberries, and I love cooking with cranberries during the holidays. You know, it's such a short season that anything I can put cranberries in, I do. So then you just toss this together, and if it looks a little dry, you can always add some more stock. In go my nuts. And you can make this ahead of time. And then, you know, you can stuff it in the bird. I usually do my stuffing on the side in a casserole just, just to warm it up. You can drizzle a little bit more butter on the top. And let me tell you, it is so, so good. Let me show you. We just put it in the oven because I like to get a little bit crisp on top, drizzle a little more butter. and But it's also just great right out of the skillet. Pick up a rotisserie chicken even and just serve this wonderful apple cranberry stuffing with it. And there you go. How good does that look? Garnish it with maybe a little bit of parsley and maybe a, um, a few cranberries. And there you go. It's my cranberry apple stuffing, and it just doesn't get much easier than that. And I promise you, it's really, really good, too. Recipes on our website. You can also pick this recipe up at any area festival foods. And you know me. I am always cooking, even on the weekends. Another big Packer game this weekend, and it's going to be another good one. I am I'm making on Sunday a big... A uh, big, big slow cooker hot crab dip that you can just make ahead and have nice and warm, great with French bread or crackers for dipping. Everybody at your game day party is going to love it. Make sure and watch Living with Amy this morning, too. We're going to take it slow with lots of great slow cooker recipes, from slow cooker meatballs to a slow cooker beef burgundy stew and even a slow cooker chocolate raspberry dessert. It's going to be really good. And I hope to see you on uh, Saturday in St. Anna, a big craft show out there. Um, so I hope to see you there at Schwartz's. Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us.